this kind of fire for Ate Susan. My Filipino queerness combusted in 1993, Manhattan. And while I lost family, Ate Susan gave me a home. My phobic scattered family evicted. So many pieces of scattered glass on an island that I've stepped on. And from the shards, I found myself in the home of archipelago. Ate Susan, you showed me that I come from a line of rebels. Ate Susan, you gave me voice when casting directors said I was never Asian enough. Ate Susan, you gave me Pinoy roots to break out of my own boxes. Before the racists took our tiki torch, you were the fire that lit my poetic epiphany. Maybe, Ate Susan, the gods are watching my every move seeing what I do, following me on their own social media, live streaming my every action at this time for their amusement. But tell the gods, Ati Susan, we are not writing for their entertainment. You taught me to be heard as a child of Filipino immigrants who had go home scraped on their cars. You taught me to write for that Broadway play or Netflix special that I'd never be cast in. Ate Susan, you taught me to write for my muse who gives me metaphors and whacked out lyrics, who holds me in a flood of night sweats. Ate Susan, you taught me to write to steady my anxiety of oppression to this unknown where pink elephants are popping like viral balloons in this new pandemonium. Ate Susan, when you met me, I used to blame all of my faults on American colonialism and the Spanish Inquisition. But I know it's up to us to get the work done, to celebrate the freedom of speech while it still exists and the right to vote while we still have it. Ate Susan, you showed me, you showed me how bad it could get. And now, now in 2020, we are living a life. We are living an experiment in the hands of racists and hatred and greed. Ati Susan, I am trying to survive the American dream deferred in the loss of a family who thought Lady Liberty would be this beach they watched watching Hollywood films. Ate Susan, you gave me the power to face the oppression by marching through the unquenchable fire of my self-doubt. But right now, Ate Susan, I am simply writing foot on pedal, stomping the August chill. Thank you so much to the incredible Archipelago organizers. Mm -hmm.